Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Johanna. And today I want to talk to you about a couple fragrances by a Bulgarian perfume house. It is called Fabioli Safari. Fabioli Safari. And this is one of the fragrances. This is called Insomnia. This was released in 2017. And then there's another fragrance I have by them. At the time I purchased these a couple of years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, there were only two available by them on uh, Lucky Scent. And this is the other one, Insomnia Ritual. These are both extra eight day parfum. So let's get into it. Insomnia Ritual was released in 2021 and there's the box and the presentation the other one doesn't have this kind of presentation i don't know why yeah so here's the insomnia ritual and then this is the regular insomnia these two fragrances are very, very different. So I don't know why they share the name Insomnia. I haven't seen what the names of their other fragrances are, but I mainly want to talk to you about this one, Insomnia. So I mentioned these are both extra eight day parfum. I don't know what percent concentration they are. I haven't looked at that. And also a lot of the box is written in Bulgarian. I think it's Bulgarian. To me, it looks a little bit like Russian, but Bulgarian might look that way. I don't know. They, they might have a different alphabet. So starting with Insomnia. And you know I want to start with this one because look at how much I've used of this bottle. I'm down to one quarter. The top notes. So this was released in 2017. Oh, and the perfumers. So this is an amber woody fragrance for women and men. So it's unisex. It was created by Cesar Saba and Svetslav Rusev. The top notes are chocolate, rum, caramel. Middle notes, coffee, lang lang. The base notes, Tahitian vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar. So whenever people are talking or asking about like a chocolate or and or coffee fragrance that lasts, that's not super expensive. I mean, it is expensive, but it's not as much as the other one I've got here to show you as a comparison. I always suggest this one because I found this on Lucky Scent just on my own, blind bought it. And I was so happy, even though it has caramel in it. I didn't even realize it had caramel. This is great. This is a great coffee scent. It's dark and um, mysterious. There's something dark and mysterious about it. I don't think that when I normally smell coffee, but when I smell a fragrance like this that smells that way, I think dark and mysterious. Each of these two, each of them were $95 at the time when I bought them. And that was the regular price on Lucky Scent. Now this one, Ritual, Insomnia Ritual, I'm gonna have to look up the notes on it for you. All I know is this is a very fruity, maybe even vanilla fruity scent. And I like the name, Insomnia Ritual. It just sounds like a crazy person. All right, so Insomnia Ritual is a woody, spicy fragrance. Now, come on. <laughs> it's fruity woody. Maybe it's fruits and woods, but not woody spicy. There's no spices that I can detect. These are way different. These two fragrances seem like they were made by different people, and probably they weren't, actually. Now that I'm seeing, it was launched in 2021, created by Cesar Saba and Svetslav Ruzev, the same two perfumers made these. Top notes are pear and saffron. You definitely get pear. 
but I'm not getting saffron. And cassis, maybe it's cassis, but either way. Then the middle notes, ambergris, rose, and lily of the valley. More on that later. Base notes, Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, musk, white musk, and patchouli. Gosh. Gosh, you know, these notes just don't reflect my experience of this perfume. This is just so fruity and in a softened way, like pear would be. And then the cassis could be a tart, but it has a picture of a leaf, so it might be the green. Um, you know, there are florals in here, but there aren't any florals in the top notes, unless you want to count saffron as a floral. So there's ambergris in here. I think I can tell now that now that I read it, but I wouldn't have been able to put words to it. That's what's giving it sort of like a warm fullness there. And it's not too animalic to stand out. Rose. Yeah, I mean, you put rose in everything these days, but it's just a matter of how much. Because rose can elevate a, a fragrance. And so can Lily of the Valley, just in different ways. So then definitely vanilla in the base, Madagascar, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood, yeah, because that's like a creamy, smoothening kind of note. Then white musk doesn't surprise me, and patchouli does surprise me. I do not get patchouli. So this is a micro dose of patchouli that they would have here. These two fragrances. Okay, so first I'll tell you the bottle, it's heavy but you can't see through this and it's very reflective and I had to clean it right before this because it just gets fingerprints right away. The lids are horrible because they, they don't magnetically attach and that's one thing, but then you can't pick the bottle up by it because it's the bottle's too heavy for the lid. The lid is very cheap plastic and it's got this kind of like uh, marble effect here. This one's got a different type of marbled effect. Same with this lid. It doesn't, it, do, it doesn't stay on tightly either. So this bottle and, and presentation isn't great in my mind, my opinion. And, and the fragrance, this fragrance is just a fruity, woody, run of the mill vanilla fragrance. I just don't feel like there's anything stand out about it. I feel like there's probably like, maybe like five or 600 fragrances on FragranceNet itself that would smell very similar to this. Not exactly, but just the same vein, you know, that style. And it doesn't last that long either. It, even though it's an extra extra dip parfum. Now this, on the other hand, this is a good, this will, this holds its own next to this one that I'm going to show you, that I'm going to compare it to. This is just rich. This does last. I mean, I don't think it lasts longer than four hours, but for me, four hours is a long time to be honestly lasting and smelling it. It lasts on clothing longer than four hours, though. It's got an interesting design on the front. It looks haunting. It looks, you know, like you should be scared of something, or maybe it's from a movie or whatever. The juice is nice and black. So I didn't buy a backup bottle simply because $95 is a lot for me to buy. And it's only like 50 milliliters. This is not, see, I like to get a hundred milliliters or more. Yeah, this is 50 milliliters. So I didn't get a backup bottle. And also I have this other one. I might have forgotten to mention that Insomnia is a amber woody fragrance, according to Fragrantica. So amber woody. So amber woody. There's another fragrance you might have already had suspicions about what it might be. But since I take every opportunity to show off my presentation, especially when it's a fancy one, I like to 
show off my presentation because I don't get to very often. I've got something that very much reminds me of this. I'm not going to call this a dupe. I'm not actually I'm not going to call this a dupe. I'm going to say that this is uh, just happens to be in the same vein and can replace this other one because we'll, I'll let you know why. Here it is. By Killian. <laughs> this is Black Phantom. This is why I have to show it off because it's probably cost more than the perfume to make is this box. So yeah, Black Phantom by Killian. This is why I didn't buy a backup bottle of this because I have this and I haven't used that much of it. So I can't really justify getting another one of those. These two are very similar, but for granted, it calls this one a, what kind of perfume? Amber vanilla, amber vanilla. You know, I don't even think of this as a vanilla. So this one was released in 2017. Hey, that's the same year. These were released in the same year. Okay, and that means it wasn't a dupe. I believe, I believe it means that it probably wasn't a dupe. It was just a coincidence based on the demand, like what people were wanting at the time. The nose behind this fragrance is Sidoni Lancaster. The notes, top notes are rum. That's it, rum. Then the middle notes, dark chocolate and coffee, almond and heliotrope. Okay, so we've got a few things that are similar so far, but not the florals. Okay, so this has caramel, so does that. This has sugarcane, sandalwood, and vetiver. I don't remember that one having vetiver. It does have sandalwood, it has patchouli and cedar instead. So the florals are different. This one has lang lang, and this one has heliotrope, I believe. Yeah, an almond, but they both have chocolate and coffee. They both have caramel. Um, you know what? This doesn't even list vanilla when it comes to the notes listing, even though Fragrantica is calling it an amber vanilla. And this is one reason why people have a problem with Fragrantica because it's not perfect. The main accords for this are sweet, then warm, spicy, then caramel, then coffee, then chocolate, then rum, then woody. So I sprayed these both on scent strips just before I pushed play or record. So, okay, this one's insomnia. I mean, with insomnia, I'll say I smell a bitter coffee. Bitter coffee is mainly what I smell. Hmm. I think I can smell chocolate too. It's just that, you know, you blend those two together. And now Black Phantom, I smell mostly just coffee, not as much chocolate. Okay, so insomnia is more bitter. Bitter like black coffee without cream or sugar. And the caramel is not bothersome to me. This is like thick, like it looks black and it, it smells thick. This one smells watery in, in comparison because I honestly, I had to spray this twice because it wasn't seeming like it was red. You know, when I smelled them together, it was, it's very off balance in terms of how much strength of smell this has. And this isn't even talking about projection or lasting. This is just me spraying it two minutes ago on these uh, scent strips. Even just right after spraying it, this one's more watery. They have the same effect, except that you know, when I first smelled this, I did think, you know, that the cough rat 
I'm gonna pull it out again because I'm shameless. I did think that the cough rat fit the fragrance. I do think that this smells mysterious and dark. And um, yeah, here it says memento mori. That means remember death. <coughs> remember that, that, you know, death is there. You're going to have to take life and enjoy as much as you can because there's always going to be death and you just never know. So that's what memento mori means. And um, they named it Black Phantom. So they're in this dark mode. Never before did I think coffee and chocolate would have anything to do with dark mo moods or like death or anything like that. But they both got that same similar type of idea when they did that. The, you know, the presentation and this one being like weird and freaky and calling it insomnia. Okay, insomnia has to do with probably me. The fact that it has coffee in it. But it's uh, got almost like a ritualistic thing going on like um satanic or satanic or wiccan or you know whatever it is it's just kind of dark and like you know uh so it's got that vibe to it they both don't have that type of vibe but i i don't like to bash fragrances you know but i got this one first and i thought this is this is really good i was impressed by this so then i got this one next and I was like, what? Like, I'm checking to make sure, is this really the same house? This doesn't seem like it matches the notes. It's just not, it's not even woody enough for me. It doesn't even have patchouli as much as I need. And um, I had gotten this one first before I got either of these. And I was really impressed by this one, but it didn't last on me. But it's just too pretty to use kind of and too expensive to use and these aren't 100 milliliter bottles either these are like maybe an ounce maybe 50 these are probably 50 milliliter bottles but so i have not used much you can see the the where i've used it down to is just down to here and i feel like if i use it i'm kind of wasting it because it doesn't last it's it sprays like an eau de toilette when you have this to compare it to, be disappointed by this. So I want to give this one props. This is a great fragrance. I'm not that big into coffee chocolate. I might've told you that before, but I'm not that big into coffee and chocolate. So I didn't really feel that I had to re replace this when it got low, but, uh, and also just because I have this. So this is a, a you know, probably not well-known house, but I wanted to just do a video on it and tell you about it because, hey, like you see these things on, on, on Lucky Sand or wherever, but I don't know if they sell it anywhere else in this country, but you see it on Lucky Sand and you just really want to get your nose on it and you kind of want to buy a whole bottle. At least that's how I am. So maybe you would go on YouTube and search and maybe you would find out a little bit more if somebody had spoken about the fragrance, even if they didn't have the same taste as you, they could give you an impression. So that's what I wanted to do is give you my impression. I can't think of anything else to say about these. It was a pretty quick review, but, uh, you know, I guess let me know if you like any other chocolate and coffee fragrances, specifically with coffee in it, because I think there's a lot of chocolate stuff out there. But the chocolate and coffee combination is kind of nice and intriguing. It's kind of mature. It's very unisex, which is cool because then men can enjoy it and not feel weird about it. All right. Well, I hope you're having a great day and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.